Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a zodiac reading for my air signs. So that's Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. This is a bit too. There we go. <laughs> okay, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. And you can also book me for a personal reading. My booking link is in the description box below. And the timestamps for the readings will be in the comments box below. All right, so we're going to start with Libra. It's going to be your next seven days. Okay, let's see. What do we have? We have the answers you need are coming. That is a full moon in Gemini. We just didn't we have a full moon? In, we just had a full moon in Gemini, right? Okay, so let's see. That's why they say the answers you need is coming. All right, let's check your energy, Libra, for your next seven days. What's going down? We've got attachment, okay? So you could be releasing your attachment to how you feel about somebody. Um, someone could also be revealing their true colors as well, their true self towards you. So let's see. Maybe you were kind of um, in love with a, a fantasy of this person, but not the reality. And it's like, okay, you're, you're wising up now. Their mask could be slipping. Let's take a look. Okay, Libra, your next seven days. Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Four of Swords. Six of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Mm-hmm. Seven of Wands, Six of Pentacles. You're, you're no longer willing to give to this situation anymore. Even though you're looking back at what you've invested, you're realizing that it's actually better to start again than to continue to kind of live in this sort of misery or this pain, okay? Um, there's a part of you, I feel like that's detaching from your old self as well. It's like you're gonna be looking at yourself through different eyes this week. And you're putting more effort into moving away from this situation, not giving to this situation. And it's almost like you definitely want to keep this person out because you yourself has been left out in the cold. Okay, and then you get some type of movement from them. And then look, they show back up as the magician. All right, trying to create an illusion. Okay, kind of like what I was saying at the beginning. So there's this communication coming in from them, but you're also in your Queen of Swords energy. Like I said, you've wised up to them. You're not really allowing them to get into inside your head. Okay, if they've got something to say, you've got something to say back. <laughs> All right, you really are sort of standing up for yourself. Okay, Libra. Yeah, you know what? I feel like you're, you know, you're okay. You're single. You know, you you know that you can be single. You know that you can take care of yourself. You're coming up as the star here as well. So I really feel like you're coming into like this new energy of seeing your true potential. Okay, um, try not to look back too much at the time you've wasted. Okay, you're where you're supposed to be right now. And like they're saying here, the answers you need are coming. So there's epiphanies. There's information coming towards you. So we've got Aquarius, Virgo. Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, watching, looking, stalking. <laughs> and we've got karmic relationship. We've got coffins, ending brings new beginnings. Wow, and the Grim Reaper. This relationship is over, no second chances. So yeah, we are gonna be working on releasing this attachment, okay? Maybe you're coming, this is like a codependent type of situation for you. Maybe it's a situation you felt kind of comfortable in, in a way. Um, let's go here quickly for you. We 
We've got courtship. We've got message of concern. Okay, so someone definitely feels like they could just be out there doing whatever they want. But again, we've got coffin, marriage, mature woman. So some of you could be finding out your person is married. Some of you, this person could be contacting you. Okay. You know, this just sounds like a mess. You know, it could also be someone here who is trying to live some type of double life as well. All right, so let's just pull you some guidance. Have something positive, please. Okay, Libra. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. Oh, the battery's gone. To charge it. Uh, yeah. Oh, Libra. It's going to be a bit of a bumpy week, but I feel like you are going to be able to kind of set yourself free from this. Let's put you on the piece as well. We've got trust. Okay, trust in yourself, trust in, in your, your higher self. Okay, to make the right decisions for you at this time. Okay, so Libra, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, we're going to move on to Gemini. So this is going to be your next seven days. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus signs as well. Okay, let's see, Gemini, what do we have for you? Oh. We have a fiery climax approaches. That is a full moon in Aries. And we have take time to breathe out. Okay, so let's have a look at your overall energy for the next seven days. Whoa. Okay, we've got door to spirit. All right, so this is going to be you. Connecting with your spirit guides, with your angels. You're going to see new sort of pathways, new doors opening up for you as well. It's more of her. All right. So, yeah, I definitely feel you're going to be more in tune with your intuition, your spirituality this week. Um, maybe you're going to get into some type of meditation as well. And it's more about not sort of controlling, you know, the path you go down, but just sort of allowing the universe to open this up for you, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I even feel spirit, they're just opening some doors for you, okay? And you're like, how did that happen? How did that open? And it's like, look, we've got this now. we got your back. All right, so let's have a look, Gemini. What do we have for you over your next seven days? We've got Hermit. We've got the Hanged Man. We've got King of Cups. We've got the World. We've got Eight of Swords. Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, and we've got Strength. So yeah, you know, it, it, I think it is just about you taking that step back so you can go within, especially with this Hermit energy. Um, I feel like you're restricting yourself in some ways with your love life and with work or, you know, in other things, other areas as well. Um, and maybe you're not really sort of trying to give people a chance, okay, or, or, or someone in particular you know, is communicating more about how they feel with you, feel about you over the next seven days. Um, but I, I kind of feel like you lot are in a space where you're recovering from something or you're picking yourself back up from something as well. Um, and, you know, I, I, don't, I, feel, I, just feel like I feel like you've been taking time to build back your integrity. You know, and you feel right now that you just kind of need to be strong and you just sort of need to... Almost go at it alone, but not, if that makes sense. Like, maybe you still want them around, but not in the way that they want. But this person's definitely going to do something really sweet, okay, for you. I feel like over the next seven days, they see you as the star. So they really do lift you up on a pedestal. We've got eight of pentacles here. So this is you kind of throwing yourself into work and building. But we've got six of wands. So we've definitely got some good news coming in over the next seven days. Okay, when it comes to work, you're going to be extremely happy. There's some public recognition here. Yeah, and you will be celebrating. You'll be really happy. 
We've got a king of wands here as well that is also popping up. But I feel like you've been in separation with this person as well. And I feel like that's more who you're going to have this fiery climax with. Okay. They're coming with this seven of swords type of energy. Okay. But I, I just feel like they're, they're coming. It's almost like a test. Okay. Are you going to go back down this road with this person? Okay. Who, you know, hurt you. Maybe you will, and then maybe you'll kick him to the curb. This is going to be your choice, but we do have a fiery climax approach. So we've got Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sag, Aquarius. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. Gemini, next seven days. Someone's definitely thinking about you, looking at you a lot, maybe pictures, social media, work, I mean, any way they can. Yeah, you see, you're the privileged lady here. You are a boss. You are working hard. We've got main male here. Someone just definitely wants to be that main person in your life. And we've got gift. Yeah, so like I was saying, this person's going to do something nice for you or they're going to get you a really nice gift. We've got judication. So you have this masculine who's watching, waiting and plotting and finding a way of how they can appeal to your, you know, your your empathic side or, yeah, I, mean, I feel like they just need you to kind of care about them. But you don't, yeah, message of concern. All right, but we've got courtship here. So they just really want you to enjoy what this other person is showing you, okay, and how they are treating you. Because this person, is the other one's just coming in to blow things up a little bit. But I really feel like you have moved on. And you know that spirit is opening the doors for you so that you can get away from this person and elevate your life and bring more abundance in at the same time. I definitely feel like things have shifted since that person wasn't in your life. Like you've been getting, you know, blessings here and there. All right, Gemini. <laughs> Opportunity. There we go. All right, so the universe is like, yes, well done, Gemini, we got you. Now you can really take this time to breathe out as well. Okay, Gemini. We have perspective. There's a better way, pause for reflection and insight and dare to be different. Okay, so maybe you will be stepping out of your comfort zone over the next seven days. And I feel like that could also be leading on to something else as well. So go for it. Uh, okay, so yeah, that was you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. We're going to move on now to Aquarius. Okay, so this is your general reading for the next seven days. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, as I say. Okay, Aquarius, let's see. What do we have for you? Oh. <laughs> what do you need to release? The energy is gaining momentum. And don't let your past hold you back. Okay. And let's check your energy. For the next seven days. We got happy family. Yeah, so this is really about your happiness, creating that happy home. Okay, wh whatever that is to you as well. Maybe you're going to be visiting home, family, or just staying really close to loved ones. Okay, and, you know, it could also be that there could be some new love in your life. And, you know, you got kids, maybe they got some kids. And you're kind of like, hmm, this could be something, but... Like they're saying, what do you need to release? And don't let your past hold you back. All right, Aquarius, let's see. Aha, uh -huh, we got the lovers. And we got the sun. We got five of swords. Three of swords. Three of cups. 
Two of Cups, Queen of Wands. You're so, I feel like, you know what it is, Temperance? I think that you're just extremely scared, okay? Because this almost feels like this is a little bit too good to be true. Um, and maybe you've kind of said some hurtful things that you didn't really mean. But not only that, I just think you're kind of going back to the past of what you went through, you know, being betrayed, being hurt, cheated on, whatever it is for you. But they're saying they need you to kind of release that now, you know, that time has passed. And there is a really beautiful connection that you have around you that could just really blossom and grow <laughs> and grow into something amazing. Okay, but I don't know. I feel like you kind of run away from it or you keep putting it down or, or you keep kind of saying like, it's too much work. You haven't got it in you. You haven't got the time, blah, blah, blah. But we've got judgment. You're going to need to make a call on this, okay? And, you know, maybe this is going to be an ongoing thing, but I definitely feel like within the next seven days, you're either deciding to put the hot past behind you. Maybe this is also about taking some time to get a little bit of therapy, you know. And we've got eight of cups and we've got the empress. So, yeah, it's like they don't want you to walk away from this, okay? Because maybe some of you are just like, you know what, it's better off if I just see people on the side, you know, like I don't take anyone too seriously, that kind of stuff, because you're always going back to that heartbreak that you had. All right, but this is about you creating a happy family, a happy environment for yourself, and with this Eight of Wands, okay, and this Knight of Swords, I feel like this person's coming in to kind of fight for you a little bit more, you know? So they're saying, what do you need to release? The energy is gaining momentum, and don't let your past hold you back, all right? The overall energy is about creating this happy foundation, this happy family. We got Leo, we got Gemini, we got Sagittarius, we got Libra Taurus, Aries Sag. mature man here got feeling left out in the cold we've got mature woman false person Ooh. journey courtship pathway privileged lady and we've got a message coming in And we've got sudden wealth. And we've got lovers. Yes, yeah, so you know what as well? You could have someone, or maybe this person you were seeing on the other side. Sorry, maybe their past was kind of resurfacing and it was kind of scaring you because maybe they've got issues with the mother of their child or the ex or whatever. But it just kind of seems like they've got children with someone else. This person is trying to just bleed them dry. But this person is really into you. They, you know, they really want you. Yeah, family room again, you know? It's just like, they feel like they could have this happy space with you. Mm. I feel like you guys have come a long way, you know, in your own personal journeys. Like, you've both learned a lot. You both have a lot to offer each other. You can enhance each other's lives. All right, Aquarius, let's see. So we've got yes, all right? And we do have unlikely here, okay? I just wanna see. Because I, I kind of feel like you want this other person to go away. <laughs> but if they do have children with them, I feel like they're saying it's, it's unlikely, you know, you're gonna have a little bit of drama here. Yeah, so you've got a lover from the past. I feel like this is a past female. Got the cough in there, yeah. But it's okay, all right? Things will get better. You're gonna be all right. You might have some past stuff resurfacing too. Okay, so we, ooh, we have reasons to celebrate a community of friends. 
Happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members. Happily ever after. All right, so you guys can make it through. You're both reasonable, logical people as well. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this reading today. Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, so yeah, you can book me for a personal reading. You can follow me on my socials. Take care, love you lots, and I'll see you soon. Bye.